Hi everybody, Amy here with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. It is a hot sunny day here in Florida. I am here at Westway Towing Company. You can see behind me in Lauderdale Lakes. I want to bring you all along to what's happening here. I'm going to flip it off of me. These are the wonderful people here. Hi, at Westway Towing. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Please say hi. I gotta get him out here. Where's yellow and yellow? Channel 7 News and other news stations here. Hi. Hi. This is Brett. This is Brett, the owner of Westway Towing. An angel sent, a man that restores faith in humanity right here. Good man. This is for Zora, guys, and Wanda, yes. Are you guys with Wilton Manors? Hi. Thank you for all you do. on her way. Uh -huh, this is Wanda's new car. Thanks to Brett and Westway Towing. Such a wonderful man. As you all know, I reported live when Wanda and myself went to pick up Zora's remains, her ashes. They are now with me at the Rescue House 2. That's where she chose for, for Zora's ashes to be. And we are gonna make a plaque so her legacy lives on. We're also going to continue to fight for Zora to change a law in Zora's name. Someone's happy. Darren. Hi, Darren. Nice to meet you. You too. We talk a lot on the phone. You're an angel. Thank you for all you do. No problem. Darren's a good man over here. Good man. <laughs> yeah, she's on her way. She'll be here. She's having a hard day, but she'll be here. Now, do you want to take care of the little wheelchair? Or do you want to move that? Um, I'd like you to, to take open it and we'll present it together. Okay. If you're okay with that. That's fine. We're waiting on Wanda right now. What time is it? I told her 3.30. Should be here. This is a surprise. She knows, she knows, Brett has been speaking to her that he was going to be looking for a car. Um, she has not seen the car yet. Um, I also, thanks to our supporters, you know that when Wanda's car was stolen from the Dollar Tree on Andrews Avenue um, in the shopping plaza with her beloved Zora in the back seat, a senior paralyzed dog that was waiting for her mommy to come back to the car with the air conditioning running for two minutes. 
um, the car was stolen. Um, he is in jail on 22 counts, um, over $100,000 bond. Um, but as you know, um, we have been fighting and fighting for Zora's name. So this never happens again to another dog. Animals should not be considered property. They are sentient beings. They feel. They have blood running through their veins. They think she died a horrific, horrific suffering death of suffocation and dehydration. We absolutely do, Jennifer. We have to make this world a better place. I want you to see all these beautiful people that have come together to do this and present Wanda with this car. Um, as I was saying, I got distracted, sorry, there's a lot going on, but uh, Zora, when the car was stolen, she had her tablet in the glove compartment, and also um, her phone is just basically not working, and she needs a phone, she needs a tablet. Um, we have received a phone for her, and um, she will have a new phone, and through our supporters, and we've also received a tablet, Actually, the tablet I had, um, so I'm going to hand her over my tablet um, and she can start fresh with a new tablet and a phone. And then we have to help her get on her feet and find a permanent place to live. That's, of course, she's, she's good for a month right now, but we need to find her a permanent place to live. Uh, Alice, she does absolutely not need another dog, but thank you. She has another dog. She does not need another dog. This is a, a very mixed emotional day right now because when I pulled up here, um, it brought me back to the day that we got the call and I went live from here where the car was picked up from the apartment complex in Sunrise at the boardwalk with Zora's body in the back and they would not let us see the car or Zora that evening until the next day and the car had to be totaled. Um, I can't even talk about it without getting emotional. I'm trying not to. So, And I want you to all take a look, which I didn't even notice when I pulled up here. Um, we all know that Wanda, if you didn't know, but Wanda is a cancer survivor and she's actually um, battling cancer right now so uh, Brett the owner of Westway Towing had this truck placed here um, in breast, ca breast cancer awareness um, as you can see right here this is a, a dear friend that um, is a survivor and he wanted this truck placed here so when, Z when Wanda pulled up this would be here for her to see uh, Maria, she was really in between places, staying with friends, so she does not have a permanent place right now. Uh, we're trying to find her. She's not really sturdy on her feet. She has a lot of medical issues. She uses a cane. Um, she's in a lot of pain, and she really needs a ground floor, even a one-bedroom and efficiency um, in the Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, close to her doctors. She doesn't do highway. She's afraid to drive on the highway. So we'd like to find her something. If anybody, anybody out there has any connections with real estate and I don't know, maybe you own something. Maybe you have an in-law apartment. Maybe you want to give back. Maybe you have an efficiency um, where you can let Wanda stay and she can pay a minimal to cover the little bit of expenses. Um, anything. Um, if anybody can help, please reach out. I am her contact. Um, like I said, she's very overwhelmed. Um, she's depending on me to be their contact person, and I have no problem doing that for her. Um, I posted on our Facebook page, we have a memorial service for Zora. It is November 9th, and it is at 11 a.m., uh, that information is posted. You are all welcome. Uh, wonderful, our wonderful Father Joe, 
Um, he's done Blessing of the Animals, so I can't think of a better person, along with Lori Cardona, who's amazing. The two of them will be um, heading the service. And then uh, we have a wonderful musician that's going to sing. Um, we're getting flowers donated, and we're trying to think of things we can come up with to make it that extra special memorial for Zora. I will do my best, Penny, to do the memorial live. I definitely will go live. I don't know how much of it, but I will do my best for all of you that cannot be with us in person and will be with us in spirit. There has to be somebody out there that has some connections with the housing that can offer Wanda assistance. Um, we've done so much, um, you know, with our organization and reaching out to the community um, to try to help her. Like I said, when she had no place to go, uh, we were able to get her with a wonderful supporter follower of 100 plus, um, Hale. He's a wonderful gentleman. He actually. Um, paid $500 uh, to get Wanda in a hotel. Um, we had other people stepping up, offering their assistance, and um, she's been in a hotel now for a week, and then she got a place to stay for a month. Uh, but it's very difficult for her because it's up a big flight of stairs. She's having a very hard time. And um, we were able to give her a lot of public gift cards, restaurant gift cards, thanks to our amazing supporters. So thank you to all of you that... Um, have donated. Thank you to all of you that have been the voice for Zora and continue to be the voice for Zora. Thank you to all of you that took time. I saw thousands of emails being written to the senators. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for continuing your support for Zora by writing emails. Um, I don't know. I think there's three or four news stations here right now. Like I said, we are waiting on Wanda. Um, she said she was on her way the last I spoke to her. She was having a rough day, wasn't feeling well. This has, uh, I know this has not only hit myself and my organization um, really, really hard. Um, I know it has hit all of you. Uh, this, has, this has gone national. I know, Tammy McAllen, and I thank you so much for writing, all of you. Um, for all of you that are on here right now, if you could please um, tell me, just write where you're from. Just one word, where are you from? Look at all these beautiful people coming together. It takes a village, it takes an army to make things happen. We have Fort Myers in the house in Minnesota. Keep it coming. Massachusetts, my hometown, Wisconsin. We have Jan, just Francis's mommy, decided to come for the... Hi, Jan. Hi, Susie. This is so beautiful, isn't it? That are sweet. Awesome. Got Tammy's on her way. This is, uh, <laughs> of course, she's going to go straight to the dog, just like I did. Winter Springs, Port Charlotte, Western New York. This is Brandon, Brandon MS, Stewart, Lake Alfred, Pennsylvania. I love it. Fall River, Nashville, Tennessee. We're waiting on Wanda to arrive. All these people are sitting here waiting for Wanda. Mary, I have to agree with you. 
I love our organization. I love what we do. I love the lives that we save together with all of you. And we're going to continue to grow and be the voice for so many that don't have one. Why is she parked so far? I don't know. I just wanted to uh, bring you all along. You didn't miss anything, Yvette. Um, we're, I'm here at the Westway Towing Company. And um, they are presenting Wanda with her new car. That the owner of Westway Towing, Brett, such a beautiful man with such a beautiful heart, um, has purchased for Wanda because her car had to be totaled. And she uh, is going to be receiving her new car from Brett. This is going to be Wanda's new car. And we have to fight, guys. You know, Wanda is very excited about this. But the first thing she said to me was, Amy, this is wonderful and I'm so grateful. But please, we can't forget Zora. We need to continue our fight for Zora. Her biggest fear is that... Um, people are going to forget Zora, and that's what she does not want. She wants Zora to be the focus of everything. We have the car, then we have the memorial. Um, we need to stay focused for Zora. Please, she suffered a horrific, horrific death for no reason. It never should have happened. Never. Thank you, Yoli. I know Zora will never be forgotten, but guys, we need to stay focused. We can't stop fighting for Zora. We can't. Hi, Tammy. Tammy decided to come too. We do need a Zora's Law, absolutely, and that's why I've asked you to keep writing. Um, and, you know, we have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. You know, look at this. Guys, look at this. I know. I know. Fight like a girl. She's a cancer yeah. survivor and battling cancer right now. Yes. And he had this placed here for her. It's amazing. He also has another truck with autism. What a man, this man. That's Brett right there in the white shirt. He's the one that, he's the owner and made this all happen. He had this car. He bought this car for her to present her. It's nice to find good people. It's, it really, it means everything, Tammy, because we deal with so much sadness and evil every day that this restores our faith in humanity. This is what truly keeps us going. This right here, this guy here, Darren, he's amazing. Darren, I want you to meet some of my friends. Come on, Darren. Show us that. That's Tammy, and this is Jan. He's part of Westway. He's been he's been amazing, amazing. I thank you. You guys do a good job. You guys are really good getting the the information out to the people. Thank you, Darren. And you're an animal lover. I am an animal lover. And we love you back, Darren. And I love when you smile, Darren. <laughs> Story of my life. It's 3.33. They're telling me what time it is. Yes. I think the door's open. Take a peek. It's leather, too. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it has a digital display. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. It's like, wow. It's brand new. It's, it's so beautiful. She's going to be, because she has a hard time getting in and out uh -huh. because of her, you know, her back and her legs. So this is going to be great for her. It's not high off the ground. It's nice. I know. This is so awesome. Very nice. He's a good, he's just amazing. It's amazing. Uh, the car had to be totaled, yes. It was horrific, horrific. But let's try to stay focused on the good right now and the happy. Mm -hmm.
So we are still waiting, guys. Where's Wanda? I don't want to shut this down to call her. Hold on one second. Not that she's going to answer me. She's not too good at that right now. It is a silver lining. Yes, yeah, she. I just. I spoke to her about an hour ago, and I told her to be here at three thirty, and she said she will be here. She said she was having a very hard day today. Wasn't feeling well. We are at Westway Towing, correct? No, she's driving herself. Um, that's another thing. Um, when the car could not be returned to her, um, Brett um, gave her a car to use until he could get her a permanent car. He purchased this car for her. Um, so she's had a car. She's, a, she's, very, she's very emotional and she's going through a lot. Maybe she's calling her. Joan! Hey, Risa. Risa, Darren's here. You want to see your friend Darren? Such a good man. Darren, say hi to Risa. She knows. What it, um, what'd you say? I'm sorry, what? We can bring it out, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give us a heads up she's close. I will. Darren, uh, Risa says kisses. Oh, tell Risa I said hello. Long term friend, 20 years. It's a long time. Here you go, Risa. So you, you may just kind of set it out in the back? I wouldn't do anything. I'd leave it exactly where it is until she gets here. Let her see the car first, and then. What time does the makeup come from? I'm sorry? I think I'm, I need a little makeup. You missed, you, 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 you missed him, so you can go back inside. You can go back inside. You look very pretty. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you are, you're pretty. <laughs> you're pretty. Oh, she just sent me a text. Hold on. Oh, shoot. That's it. Sorry, guys, I'm back. I was just answering a text from Wanda. 
I, she just sent me a text. Is she on her way? Within. No. Said she was. I wanted you to be affiliated with the Aviators Neighbors Party. Okay. Where is she? Right here. Oh, is this Katie? Katie. Yes, I hi. I am on video, so hi. do you not want me to put you on video, or are you okay? No, I'm not with this protection anymore. They can't <laughs> Ah, yes. I'm kidding, kidding. Um, no, I got her card. Well, I actually, Great. I can tell you guys that we're the ones, if you want to make the donation, you can go to neighborsforneighbors.org to help Wanda, and we're going to be collecting the money. You can make a credit card donation right on our website, and that money's going to help her with getting housing, getting the furniture she needs. Once we find her a place, we are working on that too. Any leads and, on a place? Well, that's the thing. The housing is the number one that's need the number one need in right now. the world, right. much less for our county. So um, we have some folks that she's got to talk to in order to get applications in so that she can get subsidized. And uh, But it's likely she qualifies. But she still has to buy those things that you need to make a house a home. So we'll be able to help her with that. And also any down payments, you know, or, you know, deposits and things like that. A uh, friend so, of mine. But only with your help. So make a donation. Everybody donate, guys. Yeah. I know that a friend of ours also set up a GoFundMe. Right. Um, so we can help with that as well. I think there's a little over $1,000 in there. Great. So that can Great. go towards whatever's right. needed. Right. Um, I know she's going to need car insurance. So we can also help with that. Exactly. Exactly. That'd be your first thing. Is and, gas. Yeah. and gas. And gas. Yeah. She needed a phone. I got her a phone. She needed a tablet. I have her a tablet. She needed food. We got her Publix. We got her restaurant gift cards. Um, her phone is on for a month. We paid for that. So we're trying to do what we can with your, you know. So if we work together as a, as everybody, that's there's 300. And she's quite a talented woman. Yes, she's she is. A social media web guru, and so I mean, she needs a job. And I think she would be great. There's somebody to work from home kind of a thing. Yeah, this is Neighbor to Neighbor organization. Neighbors for Neighbors. Neighbors yep. for Neighbors. Yep, and our website is neighborsforneighbors.org. Neighborsforneighbors.org. Right neighbors yep. And is there a, a site where you can donate directly for Wanda? Right, right, on, the, right on the homepage. Yep. Neighborsforneighbors.org. You can donate directly for Wanda to get her settled in housing. And you heard all that she had to say. Again, neighborsforneighbors.org. There we go. And I was Can you hold that for me? Yeah, yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> so, neighborsforneighbors.org. Perfect. There you go. Got it. Thanks, Katie. And there's myself. Yeah. <laughs> Please, mine is out in the whole world has myself. Thank you for typing that for me. God is good. Amen. Now we just need to get Wanda here. Um, she sent me a text. She's having a very rough morning. She's on her way. So, like I said, um, I oh my god, it's the worst road. Yeah. Although I was on the road, so I yeah. stopped at a place called Street Manor. I love that place. They're wonderful. Did she text you? No. Oh, okay. Well, if anybody has, like I said, I have a tablet. I've never used it. Um, it's locked, and I don't even know how to unlock it. So I'm going to try to unlock it. But if anybody has a tablet that they're not using and they want to donate it in case mine does not unlock or work, um, please reach out to us on our email at 100 plus plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Um, again, you know, you can donate. Um, through the site of neighborsforneighbors.org um, or you can donate again like we've been giving her Publix gift cards, Walmart gift cards, um, cards, uh, Walmart, Publix, uh, gas gift cards uh, to help her get on her feet guys. This is uh, just the beginning uh, for Wanda after all that. Um, okay Amanda, unlock it because I don't have the first clue onto how onto how to unlock it. Even smaller group. Yeah. 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 I can't start from the beginning. Thank you, Miss Susan. You do so much. Susan Asowich, thank you so very much. Uh, it's I it we could not pick her up. She has a car that was loaned to her. Uh, normally, I would pick her up and take her, uh, but she had a car that was being loaned to her by the towing company that needs to be returned, so she had to come here on her own. 
Uh, so she had to bring the car back to the towing company in order to make this happen. Otherwise, like I've been doing, um, is getting her and taking her where she needs to be, uh, to BSO, to Coral Springs Animal Hospital. Um, but like I said, she has to come here on her own with the car to return it. I know everybody's waiting, but what can you do? It is what it is. She'll make it. She'll get here. It's 345, I know. This is uh, Channel 7 News right here. Channel 6 is over there. Um, Channel 4 is right there. Joan Murray, who's been so wonderful. All the news have been so wonderful. You're Channel 6, right? Yes. NBC. This is Channel 6. So I want to say thank you so much. Nice, nice to meet you. Um, thank you for being here and being the voice. Channel 4. Oh, we got Channel 4 got with Channel Joan Murray. Hi, Channel 4. <laughs> Shy boy. And then, of course, we have Channel 7, WSVN, Nicole Insalada, and 10. 10. You want to say your name or you don't? Brad. Brad. And there's Joan from Channel 4. Remember, um, and Neighbors for Neighbors, again, uh, you see how many people are coming together. And I believe this is the Wilton Manors police, correct? Wilton Manors. Love Wilton Manors. They're awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love them. And again, just so everybody can get an idea, this is Darren from Westway Towing, who took, played a huge role. Um, and then of course the owner of Westway Towing is Brett. Um, and this is his entire crew of the towing company, as you can see. That's pretty much, um, I've kind of summed up everybody that's here, other than myself, Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And uh, Jan and Tammy are here from our organization. You all know Jan and Tammy. <laughs> he is amazing, Risa. Such a nice guy. Such a sweetheart. Still, I want you to all look around me um, and I want you to understand something. When you think that the world is full of nothing but evil or hate or bad, I want you to look around. These are good people. These are people that truly care, um, that are giving back. Uh, so I want you to remember this, that they're still good in this world. And we have to stay focused on the good. Uh, don't get caught up in the bad and the ugly and the evil. Just push it away. Push it out of your life. I know it's a challenge every day. I know that every day that we wake up um, and we open up our Facebook pages, social media, turn on the news, it's nothing but sadness, um, shootings. Um, it's like the world has gone mad. I feel like I'm living in the wild, wild west. Um, it just is, it's hard for anyone to take on a, a daily basis. But there are still a lot of good people in the world. A lot. And that's what I want everyone to stay focused on. As my daughter calls it, a mixer. That's a good name. There's Kayla. She's still waiting on Wanda. We have Brooklyn in the house. Hello, Brooklyn. No, Anna, Wanda has another dog, a senior. She's not going to get another dog. That she cannot. And she is totally my dog. But thank you. Hello, Charlotte, North Carolina. 
Now, what kind of cool things does she do that would be mine that you're like, Thank you, Eileen Berman, for mentioning Zora. That's all I can think about, to be honest with you. Right? She can hear, like, how far away the wall is. Oh, we have Zoe and Shelly decided to stop by. Zo Zoe and Shelly are here too. Guys, watch out behind you. Don't get right That's all we need. This is my baby. Well, she was in you know, a funny We tried for eight years to have a real baby, human baby. Hi, girls. We're waiting on Wanda still. She's supposed to be here at 3 30. We find dogs every day. Is he keeping the dog? Big dog, small dog? No, she drives, uh, she is the rental, uh, the loaner from. You gave her a loaner, it was silver, what, right? A silver loaner. It's a car. She has a dentist appointment on Monday. So, they, gave her, they went out and gave her another. Yes. Yeah, the silver one. Every vehicle that pulls up, we expect that she's getting out. Yeah. Uh, Do we know what car she's coming Silver car, not an SUV. It's a loaner that they gave her. Oh, right. From here. Oh, please. Come on, Wanda. That's right, Betty. She does not, she cannot take care of a dog right now. She needs to worry about taking care of herself. And that's what we all need to help her with and stay focused on. It's getting hot too. Is it after the rain? Oh, thank I know, me too. I hope she gets here soon. No, the car that she was loaned by them, she had to bring back, otherwise I would have picked her up. You have, you gave her the rental car. She yeah. has it. She has to bring it here. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, she's driving it here. That's why I said otherwise I would have picked her up, but she had to return the car. <laughs> yes, well, no, she knows. Um, I told her she needs to be here. I told her that uh, Brett from Westway Towing got her a car. I don't think she knows all of this is happening, but she knows. She's going to be, she's definitely, I did talk to her, and she just sent me a text, so... She was on her way. Silver. Every moment. It's a silver car. I got her a cute little princess thing, and it was like stay.
my left hand is falling asleep. I have to switch hands. Uh, right now, guys, you're just uh, nothing. Uh, I just wanted to hold on. I'm just going to sit here and keep it running so that I don't have to shut down and come back. So I'm going to just keep it running until she gets here. So you're just going to have to bear with me. Uh, she was supposed to be here at 3.30. It's probably about 4 now. I hope the news can stick around. I go, oh, really? I'm like, really? I drop her off to get groomed. She's like, oh. I said, and the lady calls me. You know, she's got to Come on, so, yeah. I'm like focusing the camera on the road where she would be turning in, watching. That's where I'm focused on right now. She'll be, she has to come in that road. We are in Lauderdale Lakes, um, Florida. <clears throat> it's Westway Towing and um, it's off of Oakland Park Boulevard. I don't know, they, she could be stuck in traffic. Uh, Wander's having a rough time, guys. You can imagine. She's having a very rough time. Wanda, hurry up. Everybody's waiting since 3.30. There's a whole... I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm traffic. I know. I, I know. I had a really bad How far away are you? I'm All right. Drive safe and hurry up. Yeah. It's west of Powerline, I'm telling you. Right? Okay. Yeah, just tell her to stay on Oakland Park right. Right. and head west, and you're going to turn right. Um, what a street? Big sign down There's a big there. sign. But what, what street is this? Yes, one of the drivers. The hey guys, what street is this? What is the name of this street? What bank? What? Okay. Is Bank of America on your right hand side? Tell her right after Bank of America, turn right in there. That's the tone. Go down that long road. On Oakland. Landmark is Bank of America, okay? Right after Bank of America. Right after Bank of America, you Turn right. make a right. Okay, I'm going to let you concentrate driving. Okay? Yes. Just drive, she's safe. Right. She's very close. Oh boy. That's not good, yeah. no. Such a, I would never drive that small car like that. That car would fit in the front of No, her car is totaled. She cannot ever, that car is gone. Thank God. It's awful. Awful. When I saw and just walking towards it, there's no way she could ever get in there. Everything that was in that car was, nothing was salvageable. It was that bad.
This is why I pick her up <laughs> and I put her in my car and take her where she needs to be. She has a really hard time. So, but she had to bring the car back. No, she did not see Zora in the car. And neither did I. Zora was not in the car when they finally opened it for me. Her body was already removed and taken to the animal hospital for necropsy. Neighbors for neighbors.org has set up um, a donation drive, a fund, like a. Is, is yours a GoFundMe or no, what is. Okay. Okay. Which is actually. And they. Because a GoFundMe is not tax deductible. Right. Right. So if they donate through Neighbors for Neighbors, it is. It's tax deductible. Thank you. This is why I'm always early wherever I have to be. Always early. All right, let's 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 bring her in. One, come on, come on, Wanda, come on, Wanda. Where are you, Wanda? Come on. It's pretty hot out here, too, in the sun. What time is it? <clears throat> Anybody have the time? Oh, she's in. She would be calling if she doesn't know where she's going. She said there was traffic. I can see there is some traffic on Oakland. It's a busy road. It's 4:05. She's supposed to be here at 3:30. I'm just focusing the camera um, on the road that she would be pulling. Thank you for the time, guys. Um, she would be pulling it. Oh, the breeze feels good. I'm trying to 
trying to be patient, Maria. I, have, I don't have a problem with it. I just worry about everybody else that's here, taking time away from their day, the news, the business, the police, the Wilton Manors police. I don't see anybody from BSO here. <laughs> Wendy, that's funny. Yes, she knows people are waiting here. I told her. I told her to get here now, yesterday, ASAP. <clears throat> So um, for any of you that are jumping on, I see there are 460 people that are watching currently. Uh, this is Amy with 100 plus. I'm going to flip it. Maybe you want to look at me for a few minutes. Uh, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And um, <clears throat> I'm here at the Westway Towing Company in Lauderdale Lakes off of Oakland Park Boulevard. And um, this is uh, the sad place where uh, Wanda's car was towed after covered it in sunrise um, it was stolen from a uh, Dollar Tree when Wanda left the car running in a handicapped spot with her handicapped uh, dog Zora paralyzed dog in the back seat um, on a pillow waiting for her mommy to come back and um, that's not what happened so as I'm saying this I want you to really kind of think and, and envision uh, Zora um, and Wanda for that matter but uh, Zora was in the back seat on a pillow with her pink wheelchair uh, because she could not walk. She even needed assistance with her pink wheelchair uh, to get around. <clears throat> she's not a little dog, so uh, the, uh, she's heavy. She left her in the back seat of the car for a few minutes, uh, ran in. And, and I know, please don't go there about leaving a dog in the car. We all know this and so does Wanda, okay? Um, and she ran in and when she came back, the car was gone and her dog was gone. And um, she had two phones and a tablet in the car. Um, and a person, a, I want to call him a devil, um, an evil, um, sad excuse for humanity, um, waste of life, uh, decided to jump in the car and steal the car with Zora in the back. Um, went on a joy ride and created more theft, um, you know, robbing, and even with a GPS tracker on his ankle, uh, with BSO, which is the police department. Um, and uh, he was riding around the car for I don't know how long, and then uh, he dumped it at uh, a apartment complex in Sunrise, and he backed the car, the car into a spot and left the windows up sealed tight and uh, Zor was in the back seat. He didn't even have the uh, decency to, un to roll down the windows or uh, even put her out of the car or call somebody. Or He let her die um, knowing she was in there because he drove around a long time with her in the back seat of that car. Um, and uh, she died by suffocation and dehydration. And there was a cooler in the back with water and ice and food and yeah, so uh, if you want to talk about angry, yeah, piece of shit. Um, he's locked, he's in jail right now with uh, 22 counts against him, over $100,000 in bond. Um, we will be making sure, we've been staying on top of BSO. Um, not really been getting any answers. Uh, I've met with them twice with Wanda um, and uh, just not very, very happy. Um, no return phone calls, um, pretty much nothing. No communication whatsoever. Um, and certainly didn't like the answers that we received when we were there. Um, so there's, there's a lot that needs to come into play with that. Um, so I don't want to speculate, uh, but um, right now, uh, since we, she's without a car, it had to be totaled when we were called here that the car was recovered and brought here to Westway Towing. Um, Zora was already removed from the car, taken to the animal hospital for necropsy. And... Um, 
With that being said, uh, the car had to be completely totaled. I uh, couldn't even walk close to the car, which I did. And with Joan Murray from Channel 4, when they did open up the car, and, and I can't put into words the smell um, and what I saw. It was on the news. It was in our um, on my live video that I shared with all of you. Let me get out of the sun. It's really getting hot here. Um, so with that being said, uh, the car had to be totaled. Um, you know, the pink wheelchair for Zorro was in the back seat. Everything that was in that car, uh, the owner of the tow company, Brett, said, Amy, there's there's nothing here that can be salvageable. And after seeing it, we totally agreed. We wouldn't even let Wanda see the car um, or even go near it because I think, I think she would be in the hospital right now, to be honest with you. So um, we waited. Um, the car had to be totaled. They gave her a loaner, and that's when Brett talked about getting her a car and donating a car to her. Um, so that's what we're doing here now, is waiting for Wanda to show up. She was supposed to be here at uh, 3.30, and um, it's after 4 right now. We have it took a lot to get this all together, to be honest with you. All the news stations are here. I reached out to um, all of them. They've been in contact with because of Zora's case, they reached out to uh, myself, asking when this is going to take place. Uh, uh, patience, I'm trying to talk to take my mind off of it. So right now, uh, I'm going to flip it off of me. And, uh, well, like I said, we're still waiting on Wanda. I got here at like, I don't know. Sorry, I got here at like 2.30. And I know it's after 4.00. Uh, Brett went really out of his way to get this car um, and set up this set this up for Wanda when she got here. Left hand is numb from holding the phone, so I have to switch. Thank you, everybody, for your love, your support. It's 410. Great. Um, you okay? Zoe has her 100 plus shirt on. Because uh, she was on her way. She was on Oakland Park Boulevard. We were giving her instructions where to turn. <clears throat> uh, where's Wander is the question we're all asking. Where's Waldo? <coughs> I would shut down and come back when she gets here, but I'd like to keep it all running on one video. <clears throat> all of you feel free to jump off and uh, you can always come back. <laughs> Are you trying to stay cool? It's hot, I know, I'm sweating, dripping. I please, I'm so over this.
All right, I'll keep it running. You're asking me to keep it running. You want me to keep it running or do you want me to shut down and come back? My battery's good, thanks. I wish I had water. We don't have any water. I wish we had water. Who? A bucket of ice, something. Hose. Joan, you want to call her again? I can't do it while my phone's running. Please, this is crazy. Terrible. Oh, that breeze feels so good. Well, it's better over here, right? Yes. I know. Okay, so while I'm sitting here and still waiting, um, my beautiful wife Carol just called because she wants me to reiterate. Thank you, Carol, if you're watching. Um, she wants me to reiterate the memorial that we're having for Zora, which is on November 9th. And it's going to be November 9th at 11 a.m. in Wilton Manors. And it's St. Francis and Clare. Um, the event page is up on our Facebook page. You are all welcome. Um, for Father Joe and Lori Cadona and a uh, wonderful musician, uh, Heather Craig. Um, and we are going to be um, having a memorial uh, for Zora. So uh, that, that information is um, on our Facebook page. Again, November 9th at 11 a.m. I'm sure she's okay. <sighs> Joan's walking to the end of the road. She's probably looking to meet her so she can see her. It is a really a hard uh, turn to find. It's not like there's a big tow sign out front. It's very, if you don't have naviga navigation on, hi Carol. Um, if you don't have navigation on, it's very, you can miss it very easily. So I'm just hoping she didn't go past and driving and driving and driving. At least the rain is staying away. It was pouring when I first pulled in here at about 2 o'clock, a little after 2. Joan from, from Channel 4 is such a trooper. She's been so amazing. Um, from day one, she's been out pounding the pavement, um, just like a, like a detective. She's amazing. I worked with Joan when I first started. Uh, 100 plus. I don't think I've worked with her since, but when I very, very first started, she reported a story on our organization um, when we used to go out to the Everglades on a regular basis and pulling in, oh my God, guys, before a lot of you probably even knew of 100 plus, but we used to go out with two to 300 people, if you can imagine, in rural Miami um, and pick up 10, 20, even 30 dogs at a swoop. Uh, not easy dogs, feral dogs, heartworm positive dogs, large dogs, uh, broken legs, um, just, and we didn't even have, we didn't have our facility. Everything was done at uh, animal hospitals for boarding, um, fosters, adopters, but it's gotten, the problem's gotten worse since we started. Um, we became a 501 in 2012, November 26th. Um, that's when we became a 501c3. We're well over 4,000 uh, dogs saved and hundreds of cats. You remember the beginning, Jennifer? Oof. I think back and I think of all that we've done and the hours and hours in the sun and, and, and running after dogs and 
there weren't even cell phones with cameras back then. I remember I was using a flip camera, taking video and then coming home and uploading the video from my little flip camera and to the computer to create videos to share with everybody. But there were no cameras at that time. Um, it was a lot, a lot different then. I can't believe she's walking all the way to the end of the road to try to find her. Wow. Wow. Everybody's still waiting. Everybody's still waiting. We are so proud. And thank you for saying that, Lori. So very proud. You know, it's, uh, it's when I say it's 24-7 dedication, I am not exaggerating. Um, you've seen us how many nights um, at the animal hospital, um, at the 24-hour animal hospital. We used to stay there till 1, 2 in the morning. We used to go on rescues in the middle of the night when we received calls and pick up dogs that were shot. Um, uh, just, it's endless. It's endless. Hit from cars left to die on the road. Uh, there's just so many, so many stories, so many lives that we've saved together with all of you. You know, and now we have two beautiful rescues and we have uh, you know so many amazing supporters that believe in our mission and support our ongoing mission no she knew it was 3.30 Judy she knew it was 3.30 I think that might be her I think she got I think this is her hold on I think I see her her. She got lost. I think this is her. waving and it's not her. Oh. That's her. She could have parked right here. She didn't have to park all the yeah, that's true. She's here. I'm waving at people coming in with a silver car. They're like, you're crazy. Oh boy. Um. Maybe Darren, you want to jump in the car and drive her. What do you think? Put it in park. I'm afraid. She Hold on, guys. I'm deep breathing. Deep breathing. That's the loner. Apparently, the first cart was something. Yeah, right there. Right? That's her. No, that's not her. Oh, we're right there. Oh, okay. Okay. The gear. Hey, hey, the Have that accurate pull in. Have them pull out.
Hi, beautiful. Okay, cars in park. You're beautiful. So You're beautiful. Come on. Close that. We gotta lock this door. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the car. You come yeah, with me. Purses in ready? Purses in oh, that's right. I have no money. Don't, it's okay. <laughs> you ready? No, I'm not ready. I'm ready to kill people right now. That's why I gotta calm down. I'm live. I'm live. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> um, guys, Wanda's here. You okay? Barely. You're okay, Barely right? Here. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Take a deep breath. I haven't been here since you know when. I know, honey. I know. You ready? Hey, we got this. We got this for Zora, right? Yeah, we do. We got this for Zora. I'm here for Zora. Okay. I got you. You look so pretty. Your hair looks so pretty. <laughs> All of this right here. Stop for a second. I want you to take a breath. I want you to take a breath and I want you to breathe. You take your time. Okay? I got you. Tell me when you're ready. You take the first step, I'll take the second when you're ready. Take your time. Take your time. Okay? Look at the pink truck. That's for you. Oh my god, look at the pink truck. That's here for you. Brett brought that here. It's a cancer oh, awareness I know, truck. Cancer awareness. Oh, That's so nice. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Sorry, everybody. Oh my God. Look at all these people that are here for you, Wanda. Everybody's here for you. I've been back here. Forgive me, guys. I know. Not easy. I know. Not easy. Look at the pink truck so high. Isn't you want to cool? go see the pretty pink truck? First? Yeah. Okay. It's a good cancer. I can't believe it's cancer awareness. <laughs> Like the best. Yeah, Wanda, I've been reporting live for about an hour now. I was getting ready to roll out the red carpet. Hold on, come here. I want you to... Can we move one of those stands really over people. so she cannot walk in a puddle? All right, you got this? Okay. I got you. I got you. Okay. You know, Brett... I can't believe you did that. Oh, yeah. How you doing? It's all right. How you feeling? One second with a beeping. Who's beeping? Can I have your mic? Would your mic hold? Okay, we're good. There you go. I'll get over. Excuse me. Let me open that other door. This one. Yeah, Wanda! Woo! Make sure the horn works, Wanda. I see ya.
Wanda, you want to shut it off and step out for one second? Yeah, we can do all that. Yeah, see, it's easier to get out, right? Yeah, it's been easier to get out. Okay, yeah. are you ready for something else? It's up to you. That could be killer, man. You want to not right now? It's all, on you. it's all up to you, Wanda. Whatever you can handle. But I know Brett, you told Brett how important it was to you. Very important. I'll try. It's okay. going to be really we'll get it. hard. The guys that I'm trying to remain in shock because I, I know. can't take okay. this right now. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know. He saved it for me. Yes, he cleaned did. It he up cleaned and it and he bleached it and no, now we can have it at the memorial. Yes, we're gonna have it at the memorial with Zora. Oh, my little girl. That means everything. Thank you. <laughs> because everybody knows that it is with cancer. And it be so good that she's still doing something beyond, you know, to help people and bring them together. And that's what she was all about. She was a, like a really empathic little girl that just went around and just gave love and life to people. The cancer patients, everybody she just went up to. And she was there for all of them at the events and even in the, the hurricane at the hotel we were saying she'd roll up in her little wheelchair and she'd go give everybody kisses and let them pet her and they felt better. That's what this was all about. This Laura trying to get her better for this month to go to some of the events because so much needs to be done in the movement forward with cancer. And we were doing our very best and she did so much over the years. We worked on it for so long. I'm so happy that Brett did this. And, and just my heart is still bleeding. I'm sorry, but we have to find a cure. We have to change the laws. If there's any one thing that I can say is please keep the fighting spirit together. That's what this is going to be about. That's what the memorial is about. And that is what's going to be about. If we can get a vote even on the ballot that's coming up, it's not going to be easy. But we have a lot of people out there. We have a big army out there that are fighting and that are pet lovers and they understand. And it's not just pets, it's children. This guy went after families' homes too. So a law has to be changed. It has to have more teeth in it. And for not just my baby, but for everybody's baby to follow. This cannot happen to anybody else. It can't. What are we trying to do, Wanda? What are we changing? We could probably hear Wanda better with the answer. Oh, sure. Tell them what's important to you about the law. Sure. Hey, how you Tell them what's important to you about the law. Want to write right here. Huh? You want to move it here? She wants to lean on the truck. Can you move it over? Now's your chance to speak, Wanda, what you said to me earlier about the law. No, you're beautiful. What? No, you're beautiful, I'm telling you. Whatever you're comfortable with. You do not. You do not. This is I want people to see my eyes. Because I want you to know how important this is. This is a fight we are involved in. Not just the most beautiful, innocent child 
and everything to my heart and I know I could bear her every day. And she took care of me. And I rescued her and she rescued me. Put back to our bigger. He was going to put a little tail in there in the beginning. You don't know the background story, but she was always coming out of the The most important thing is that she fought. She was a fighter. She was a fighter. And she was a fighter when I, when I didn't really want to be sometimes when I first went through the first breast cancer. And if it wasn't for her, I may not have made it. What's that law? Now, what's that law to change a dog to be considered property versus a sentient being? They are living, breathing, thinking, yes. feeling. They, actually, they just had a whole show on the Nature Channel about an octopus being a sentient being. Now, I'm sure you heard of that. That can think and act and react, and they had it was a beautiful thing. And they're just learning. You know, people are learning, and they need to to have education. And that's what this is about, too. Educate. We need the help Just to like fight. My babies, too. <laughs> people don't, a lot of people don't know how that extends a, a dog's life or a pet's life. I mean, you can enjoy so many years, um, and they're happy. They feel secure, and if they go in the water, they can play. Um, just like other dogs, they may not have a leg, or they may have bad back legs, or front leg, whatever it is. So many people have written to me about that. And actually, I'm going to keep myself in my mind from going crazy by writing a book for Zora to bring that to the attention of people and let them know children and things that, you know, how wonderful that is and how you can have Stay there. Because you see, the thing about this is, 
Something horrible happened. But there are still good people out there. Still people that have a caring heart and that are willing to step up and do the right thing for somebody else. And that's what we have to keep in our hearts right now, too. I mean, step up and do the right thing. And step up and fight for something you believe in. And what he did was so nice. Even with my baby's wheelchair, you know, they, they weren't going to, but he did it. He took it and kept it. And, and we can have it at the memorial now. Which we will have an announcement for that, too. And November 9th at 11 a.m. I just want to thank you all for that. And, and the law itself, um, I believe, Amy knows a little bit about the law that was passed before, the Ponce Law. Could you explain that to them a little bit? Well, the, the Ponce Law is for animal cruelty, so that there is more of a penalty for the abuser. Is it a felony? Uh, I believe, I, I'd have to look it over. My friend Debbie, who's a and paralegal. I had, and I had something, somebody said it was first offense, second offense only. This cannot... No, not good enough. No, it's not good enough. The bottom right. law is we have to change People the law. People need to know if they open your car and go in your car and there's a pet or a child in there. Now a child is different too, much different. But those slip through the cracks too, because let me tell you, this guy and many others was running around with no mo with a monitor on, which he cut off the one before. Okay, he cut the monitor off and was still put on another monitor and let loose again after so many offenses against him, even a hold with ice, okay? Now he's making it bad for the people out there trying to do the right thing, you know? And not for nothing, they said that he robs and burglarizes every day. Every morning, from morning till night. Mm -hmm. So this is why I appreciate every last one of them. And if I don't get online and say it enough, I'm trying to, I'm waiting for a tablet and a phone that will work properly. It's coming. And getting out there and trying to get back to all of you. And this is one way that I can do it and thank you from the bottom of my bleeding heart because I just really appreciate it so much. You have no idea how every single one of you matters. Every voice matters in a situation like this. It, we need all the voices that we can get. I don't care how faint, how small, we need all the voices, all the beautiful lights out there to shine bright and make this law happen for everyone. Right, can all, we have for you? all the Zoras after this, so we pray to God will not happen. Yeah, no. go away, go away. Yeah, why you decided to talk a little bit about... Stay there, Zor. Uh, why, 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 why are you doing this? You can stay there. We well, we saw it that morning, and uh, once I saw the, the tragedy that it happened like that, we just... You know, we, we here at Wesley, we, we try to help everybody that we can. So when I saw what was going on, what Wanda was going through, we knew we had to step forward and do something for her. So that's what we do with our communities and everything we do. So we, we took care of her. What an amazing so, man. We, you know, we want to call this a good day. We know it was a bad situation, but we turned this bad situation into a good situation. And it's all about making a stand and doing what's right for the community. And today I, I brought uh, with me if Detective uh, Newton and Detective Lee from the Wolton Manors Police Department want to come up. They're the actually uh, two individuals that apprehended the suspect in the city of Wolton Manors and worked with the Broward Sheriff's Office. Well, uh, to I think we deserve a round together. of applause for that one, for sure. partners. Um, I also want to say that we were happy that we could take the suspect into custody for unrelated charges and then be able to partner with the Broward Sheriff's Office in their investigation to uh, get justice for you. This story had gotten so much attention when you realized that this was the guy behind this story that had gotten so much attention with this dog. What was that like? What, what did you think? Of course we're related. Um, you know it's always happy to solve a crime for someone and get them that closure. Uh, so we're happy to be able to do that for her. Detective, what's your first name? Patrick. But um, there was someone else arrested too? Correct. Uh, when we took the suspect into custody, there was another individual with him um, at that time. That was unrelated to uh, her incident.
Can you take this for a second? I have a few questions I want to ask. Just take it off of me. Hi, Tim. Tim. So proud of you. So proud of you. Look at your new car. And I'm proud of you. Look at your new car. Look at your new yeah, car. I'm looking at a very amazing person right now. That's what I'm looking at. I'm so proud of you. So I wanted you to say something about 100 plus and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a look at mine for the bracelet. Let's show the bracelet. Look at and it's got. Oh, I love it. It says Zora. Zora. Love always, always in my, my heart. heart. And this is from Jamie. Jewelry's made with love. With love. And she made this for Wanda. It's forever. Pink. And, and for the cancer. So, so beautiful. beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> it, it gives me luck or something. It doesn't it give amazing. you peace? I know. Peace and everything. It's, it's amazing. I just, just love it so much, you know. I love it so much. So, um, 
Can everybody please, if you can get one, because it's all donated for this cause, for the good cause. You know? oh, this is all to help you too. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, and good hey, to see girl. you. And you have to say something. What happened with that? Well, we're working on that. In fact, this is what this is about today. So this is, this is going to be reported on the news today, and donations are already coming in for you. So we're going to help you in a Oh, I know, but it's anything. Thank you. But the other thing is, we have a we have to do a phone call. We're going to call and see if we can get you some housing. Okay. Thank you. This is Neighbors for Neighbors. And then Joan said, because I was trying to reach you, I said, darn, she was fast. She was there. To get I one to housing. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Yeah. I will put up, it's Jamie's Jewelry Made with Love. You can order a bracelet, whatever name, whatever color. It's amazing. It's $20 a bracelet. Again, Jamie's Jewelry Made with Love. And there it is, guys. All right, I think uh, I think we did a really good job covering um, this beautiful moment. Um, remember, remember, we still need to fight. And like Wanda said, we need teeth in the law um, for Zora. And um, again, if you can if you can join us um, at the memorial on November 11th at 9 a.m. in Wilton Manors, it is. Um, going to be um, at nine at 11 a.m. I'm sorry, November 9th at 11 a.m. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to sign off. It's been a very long day and it's hot, very hot. Um, but I want to say thank you to all of you uh, for your love and your support. And please stay with us. Continue our fight. And I want you to remember this face right here. This is one amazing man. This is Brett from Westway Towing. If only there were more Bretts in the world. Thank you, Brett. You're welcome. 100 it's a good plus. Day. Thank you. It's a great day. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.